I want to talk about a little more about the Geek Squad while I'm a little calmed down from it. I was pissed off. Look, the real thing I want from the Geek Squad is for them to find trained people to do the work. Any real trained person would never have made this mistake. And I understand some people do make mistakes. Let's say they did. They would have handled it better. For instance, whoever screwed it up was probably at the service center. If they thought there was a possibility that they might have forgot to do something, they should have contacted the Best Buy store immediately. Uh, what Best Buy did here um, was they looked at the machine and it was all busted up and that was it. Nobody knew anything. The computer, I should say. And I said to myself, you know, how could they not know anything? Are they that stupid? Um, then they called, they called, gave a call to the house and that was it. Right now... They, that was around 8, 8 o'clock, 8.05, or around that time. Right now it's 11.25 at night, and my app on my phone still says I'm scheduled. Um, they were not scheduled. They want me to schedule an appointment to go to, um, what's it called? Go to Best Buy and pick up something. Like my laptop. Forget me, I'm losing it today. And I said to myself, why is it still saying this? They just told me my laptop got busted. And when you go on the website, it's telling you it's ready for pickup? Like, you're going to be kidding me. Didn't someone go into the computer system and cancel me out? I, I want to know when they send this computer back, how am I able to track it? So I'm hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, I'll be able, I'll get some kind of notification or at least an email stating something. Though they really need to get on ball with stuff like that. Notifications especially. Um... <sighs> And um, I think it's just, it's it's an awful thing to do to somebody is to leave them hanging around. And I, I really don't think it's right. I think people should be treated with a little more respect. Um, the problem is, is that they don't have any respect for their customers. This is all bullshit that you have to make appointments because they didn't do this years ago. You just walked right in and you were fine. Now all of a sudden it's an issue where you have to make an appointment. Why do you have to make an appointment to pick something up? You know how easy that is? You just say, I'm here for my laptop. You show an ID, and you can put a second person on to pick stuff up, and that's it. See, Best, Buy's, Best Buy used to be okay when you didn't have to interact with people, like when I picked up movies and stuff. i just walk into Best Buy, I would take them off the shelf, and I'd pay for them and leave. Well, the, nowadays, um, the only thing they're useful for is computers and televisions, and now you can't even do that with them. I've closed the door to that. Um, I said that I would go there if I really needed to get a television or something. I might might as well just buy it on Amazon now because it's, it's awful what they're doing to people. And um, it just shows that even the people at the, um, the Geek Squad, they don't know what they're doing. I know the people in the store, and I, I always knew they, they never knew what they were doing. But even the people at the service center don't know what they're doing. I mean, how incompetent do you have to be? I, to keep screwing people's computers up. You know, and those people don't care because they don't have to answer anyone. If they mess your computer up, whether it's $4,000 or 10000 or, you know, they don't tell a $10,000, you know what I mean, or a hundred, or 200 300 whatever the amount might be, they don't care because they don't have to answer to them. They could throw the computer against the wall and send it back to Best Buy, and no one's going to know the the better. They're not, no one's going to really know who busted it. And well, they probably have a way to see what technician was doing what. But they're not going to go through that kind of trouble, most likely. So, um, I just think they need some kind... They need to be certified. I said that in my, one of my other videos today. Certification is needed for this kind of work. How can you be certified and screw up so badly? My computer is in much worse shape than it was when I sent it in. Actually, there really wasn't that bad shape. Um... Other than the mouse pad not responding, everything else worked fine. The uh, keyboard worked fine. I had to put an external mouse on it to make it work. Um, and the hinge on the computer wouldn't move correctly. Now, from what I from what I heard, they just said the computer wouldn't. They, it didn't have a charge, and it wouldn't charge at all. So I'm guessing someone maybe shorted something out, or I don't know what they did, or maybe they don't really have the right adapter. See, with an MSI computer like mine, it's not a typical adapter you put in a laptop. It's a high-scale workstation. 
slash gaming computer, whatever you want it to be. I picked workstation because I wanted to render things a little faster. Um, and when I looked at this, I said to myself, maybe they don't have the right plug, but then again, they have to. I mean, they got to have those plugs. You know, I always said this, I'll say it again, replacement computers, let's say they wanted to credit me the money. That would be really difficult because there's no computer I could choose in the store that would be powerful enough. Even if you found their best computer in the store and doubled it, I don't think it would be enough. So um, that would be a huge issue. I'd have to buy it online. And I'm not going to trust any of those people to get them. I'm just going to say, uh, no offense, but I'm, uh, I'll just you know I'll decide for myself because I can't trust anybody here and not break my computer again. <laughs> I don't care if they get nasty with me. Um, Best Buy is going to be out of business in 5 to 10 years, I predict. They're not going to be able to keep up with everything. Amazon's stealing so much of their business. And even if they do price guarantee, at least with Amazon, they don't give you all this hassle and bullshit when you return things like Best Buy would. Amazon's a pr pretty much a quick return. And that's it. With with Best Buy, there could be problems. Um, just saying. I told you what I would do if I could get a credit, though. I don't, and I could use it. Let's say they gave me an option to use it on whatever I would want. I would never buy. I won't buy another computer. I don't think. I didn't like. I said before, I didn't invest a lot into um, games in the last year or so. Actually, I didn't buy any games. I didn't play in months and months and months. I don't even remember the last time I played. I would buy some more smaller televisions so I could watch my laser discs more or my VHS. Well, actually, no, not Laserdisc or VHS, so I can watch my DVDs and stuff I have, so I can, because that's the only way I can watch DVDs properly. I'll buy, like, I'll buy, like, three of the identical televisions that I have already. That would be something good to have. I don't know where I would store them, but, um, I just, um, what I would do is I'd have to test each one, because, you know, it could be broken, <laughs> and you don't want a broken TV. A lot of people buy a million to, who knows? And then I was thinking, maybe, I just maybe, I try out one of those Blu-ray players that, um, that's like $500. It would be really nice to see if it actually makes any difference or not. Uh, I love to see that. So what I would do is I'd buy one and put it in my main setup in the basement and then go from there and see what happens. But they'll never give me a credit. You know how long it'll be till, you know how long it'll be till they give me a credit? They have to absolutely be... They'd have to know for sure that my computer was gone for good. That's the only way they would give me a complete refund or for what I pay for it. So that's a disaster. Um, they have to give you a credit because a lot of times, think about it. If they don't give you a credit and you pay with a card that no, you no longer have, they change the, you change the number on a credit card or something, they can't refund it to that. So they have to give you a credit. So you're stuck with the store. Um, just try to buy an item that they won't use too much. Or I could buy another nice projector that's 4K capable. <laughs> um, there's a lot of different things. You just got to watch out what you buy, though, because they have restocking fees if you restock the item. They never tell you about that because they want you to buy it and they want you to get charged afterwards. I don't think there should ever be any restocking fees. Um... Because first of all, um, they're going to say, well, we're going to try to sell the item as an um, out-of-box item. Yeah, like anyone's going to buy an out-of-box item, especially if they're an enthusiast for a home theater. You think they're going to buy used stuff for it? They're going to buy brand new stuff all the time. Um, I know I keep ranting about this, but I think it's important to talk about it. You know, people have complained and got mad at me because I got mad at UPS. People got nasty. A long time ago, someone from UPS or FedEx was and got nasty with me about oh you know it's it's the end of the day and you know what sucks um ups is going to be laying off twelve thousand workers what a piece of shit right i used to talk good about them i've been talking good about them the last couple of years well no longer will i be doing that that's terrible because now everyone's going to have problems with delays with you know with the, how many packages go out it never slows down packages get worse and worse and worse just imagine what it's going to be like now with less drivers on the road and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if it impacts or drivers or office workers. I don't believe they have they have their own centers that the drivers come out of, the distribution centers and all that. But you have to realize that um, 
it's mostly I think it's got to do with the the workers I would think. Well, because why else would they send me a big notification? I actually got two of them, and only the main. You got all these local news stations don't talk about real problems, and you got two major news networks that tell me about it. So Best Buy, thank you for being shitty. Thank you for screwing up the computer. And hopefully, I don't know what's going to happen. If the computer won't even turn on when they plugged it in, I think they shorted out the motherboard or something. And this computer is not something you can just swap out. Nobody has the parts for it. Well, they, um, yeah, so if that would have happened, um, they would have to buy another computer. Um, essentially, because it would be so expensive. I don't know how much the motherboard is for a, a workstation computer. I can only imagine it. It's not even worth replacing. Uh, they, they, they would be stupid. What a bunch of what a bunch of animals. They don't care. All right. Bye bye.